Welcome back. Well, there are some fears for the future of Australian music festivals this morning after the iconic Splendour in the Grass was cancelled. It's one of 25 festivals called off in just the past two years. Yeah, let's bring in Blues Fest chairman Peter Noble, the man, the legend himself, <laughs> live from Lennox Head in New South Wales. Hey, Peter, good to see you. Live Welcome. from the Blues Fest side. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the sun's shining out Fest. the back there. You I can't went... see me because I notice it's shining in the back window there. But, uh, <laughs> no, I may have gone so, there. So, so um, the sun is still shining good. for some people in the festival industry. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that, Peter. Good morning. <laughs> Look at you smiling away like I was before kids. But anyway. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> I've been up till 2 a.m. with the bands and what is it now? 8 o'clock. Perfect time to be on the on air. <laughs> yeah, good night, Peter. Um, does this make you a bit nervous for the future of festivals? Look, I, I, what I'm really nervous about is that the Reserve Bank has done a job on us. That's what's really hurting music festivals, mm. that the disposable dollar has mm. been taken out of people's pockets. There's nothing in them. And so just like with COVID, you see the music industry suffer where the first one's closed during COVID and the last one's open, and now you've got the Reserve Bank doing a, the, their job on us. Mm. That's what I see. Yeah. That's why things are 20 30% down. And government, come on, do I, something I about it. it. it Australians is... are hurting. And yeah. when we lose a great event like Splendour, it's the only time anybody wants to speak with me about it. I can't <laughs> get a voice in government. I say I'll fly to Canberra. They say they're busy. You know, and I put on the most highly awarded festival in Australia. Yeah. It's a tragedy well, when that... an event like Splendour is cancelled. And yeah. we need to do something about it to save the music industry. Let's support it and not just only talk about it when another one hits bites the dust. We just want to party, huh? Yeah, you're absolutely right. And look, I mean, Blues Fest is party, raging, as about... you said. We're... I'm an arts presenter. Mm. I'm the most highly awarded event in this country. Mm -hmm. No other event has won has been nominated nine times for World's Best Music Festival by Polestar Magazine in the US, but mine. All right. And I can't get with government. But, Peter, we've I, got... I, I we, feel we, for we're just running out of time, Peter. We just want to get a quick insight into what's ahead for Blues Fest this weekend. Well, there you go. Jimmy Barnes, Ben Harper, Jack Johnson, the 14-year-old Australian wonder kind, Tanj Farah played for the campus last night, and he's going to be a superstar. So and he's good. playing at Blues Fest before he flies straight back to the US. This is what you get at music festivals. You mm. get bang for your buck and you get a great time. So what? So come on out and support them. Good and on you, Peter. It's a tragedy that you are not going to be around this year. Yeah. We need you. We need you. You're one of the great promoters. We love what you do and uh, keep on keeping on. Peter Noble, thank you. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about? Always happens.